Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Oklahoma is known for many things, but what about Bigfoot? Our state is a hotbed for Bigfoot sightings. Fox 25's Christian Price talked to a group in southeastern Oklahoma that have stories of a close encounter. Oklahoma's living secret is first on Fox tonight. Recently, this picture appeared in a local paper. Bigfoot in Oklahoma? Well, naturally, this piqued our curiosity, so we headed down to Hanobia, Oklahoma for its first annual Bigfoot Festival. Not only did we attend the festival, but we took this opportunity to hunt for the elusive creature ourselves. But the first thing we had to do was some research on the area so we knew exactly what we were getting ourselves into. LaFleur County has the most reports of Bigfoot in Oklahoma. One of the earliest reports dates to October 1971. The most recent was just this past February. The Hanobia Festival serves two purposes. First, people with Bigfoot experiences can share their stories without people making fun of them. Second, and perhaps more importantly, to bring people back to the area. Everyone in Hanobia says people who had Bigfoot encounters were so distraught they packed up and moved away. So many, in fact, it took a toll on the town's economy. The Kaimishi Mountains are relatively unknown. Kaimishi, go no further. There are innumerable people who say they have sighted Bigfoot. I've got a picture of something. There were some really strange sounds and big shadows and I ran. <laughs> we plan on camping out here tonight and doing our own amateur little hunt and stuff. Is that, is that bad? He might come right up to your camp. <laughs> Do you think that the Bigfoot actually exists? I'm not real sure about that. Something hit a tree with such a powerful blow two times. I can't imagine. I mean, it sounded like it, something picked up a tree and hit a tree. First off, I want to make sure, is it Hanobia or Hanova? It's Honubi is the way it is pronounced, but it's Honubia is actually the word which I understand means dead man. People who have lived out here their entire lives say you don't necessarily have to see this creature. The sound it makes alone will haunt you for the rest of your life. A lot of people have seen signs and seen, heard screams and heard things that are not from other animals that are uh, in this country. One night, Grandma came, told Grandpa, said, there's something looking in the window. And Grandpa got his 30-30, and he shot this thing in the chest three times and killed it. And they went outside, and it was about nine foot tall. It had hair all over it, didn't have any clothes on, smelled really bad, and they called it a wild man. And they got scared because they afraid that they might get in some kind of trouble. So they tried to drag this thing off and he was too heavy. So they got a mule and hooked onto his leg and drug him out there and dug a hole and buried him. And grandma, grandpa told me, he said, now you don't tell nobody about this because I don't want grandpa to get in trouble. Will Christian encounter the creature of the woods? See more of the hunt in part two of Oklahoma's Living Secret. That's tomorrow night on the Primetime News at 9.